Okay. Normally I would use both hands to make sure everything's going nice and straight, but obviously I can't do that right now. But it's usually a good idea to make sure it's perfectly going in there how you want it to and not sliding around. Um, okay, so we got to the end of our main sewing stitch here. We're going to use our um, back stitch button again because we want to make sure we knot the end thread so it doesn't come, un doesn't come loose either. So same thing as before. I'm just going to push this down for a few stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. I usually like to count somewhere between four and six. That way I know I've got to get, you know, coverage there but not too much. So now we're done actually with the stitching process. We're going to lift our foot lever up here again. Okay. Now, all you have to do is just pull. comes out really easily. And I'm going to snip, if I get the camera on it. Snip, snip. All right, I can't hold the camera on that. Hang on a second. Snip and snip. Okay. Now, I'm going to come up here and make sure you snip off the, the big thread that you had had from the beginning. Um, don't wait to do this because you'll probably forget and then you wouldn't want loose threads hanging around in your costume, right? So go ahead and snip them off now while you're thinking about it. Snip those. So now I don't have any loose threads hanging anywhere, but I've got my s stitched up fabric here, which wasn't cut very straight, but then it was just some scraps anyway. <laughs> Um, obviously, if you're sewing something nice, like a costume, you'll want to use your pins to hold your fabric together, like so. And then as you, as you stick it through the sewing machine, you'll just, you know, pull out as you go. I can get my non-fingernails on there. There we go. Pull out as you go and just go down the list. I mean the line, the list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so um, we've done our basic stitch, and if you're just starting out, that's usually good enough, but um, <clears throat> it's usually better to also do some kind of a seam closure stitch. There's a few different ways to do that. Um, I'll go into more of what it means in a second. I mean, uh, the different ones in a second, but what that means is you're just closing off these loose ends here, which is important for a few reasons. First of all, if you don't, then eventually your fabric is going to fray and unravel and your costume will fall apart. Um, second of all, it just looks a lot neater. I mean, for example, when you buy something in the store, I mean, it's got, you know, this, it's closed up, you know. It doesn't have seams hanging loose all over the place. and It just looks sloppy. And if you're, you know, entering this costume in a contest, and it's at a big convention, chances are good that they will ask you to see the inside of your costume to see if your seams are finished. So I'm going to go to uh, go through the process of doing what's called a zigzag seam. Um, it's probably my favorite way to close seams because it's the easiest way. There's also a few other ways such as um, French seam and uh, lining the costume. Um, those are a little more advanced. I'm not going to go into those in this video, but you can YouTube them or Google them. Um, I use the French seam pretty often too. I line only when I have to because <laughs> it takes, you know, twice the amount of fabric and it's just a pain in the ass. So I only have a couple of costumes that are lined and that's either because it's obvious that it's lined in the character design, you know, like a different color or something, or because the fabric was too thin. But otherwise I just use a zigzag seam or a French seam. Okay, so on to our zigzag seam here. On your sewing machine, you have a bunch of different cool stitches you can use here. And there should be one that is a dotted zigzag line. You're going to have a variation of zigzags. Um, you can use a, a, one of the others if you want, but they take longer because they're solids. I like to use the dotted zigzag. That's good enough for just closing the seam. Um, if for some reason your machine doesn't have this, then it sucks and you should go buy a new one. <laughs> Um, but no, seriously, if it doesn't, then you can Google or YouTube the uh, French seam because you, all you need for a French seam is just your basic stitch here. But, uh, so, okay. Whenever you do one of these decorative stitches, you still want to start out with your basic, um, I think I have some kind of a 
verbal disorder today. Anyway, start with your basic stitch here so that you can uh, do your first few stitches in the back stitch and you get a good knot there. So that's what we're going to do. Same process as before. We're going to stick our threads back to chill back there, put our fabric underneath there. Now the thing to, the important thing about a, um, a zigzag seam is you do not want your fabric to be, you know, under there and good where it has all the little seam lines. You want it to be, have a little bit of an opening there where, it, the, where the needle will actually get off of the fabric. It won't actually hit the fabric on the very edge. Um, sounds crazy, but that's so that it, you know, will actually close over the edge of the fabric. But for the beginning, on our regular stitch here, so we've got set, do the same thing we've been doing. We're going to drop down just like before, stitch forward a few times, and then do our back stitch. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, we're going to loop those underneath the foot like we did before, and now we're ready for our actual zigzag. And I've got my fabric pushed over to the left, so there's a little bit hanging off. I'm going to come over here, select it so my zigzag is uh, highlighted. <coughs> And again, still want to hold on to the fabric to keep it going and straight. Um, another important thing that whenever you're using any of these decorative stitches, your sewing machine is going to do a ton of funky stuff. It might go backwards, forwards, to the side, whatever. You just want to make sure you're not pushing on the fabric. Because if you do, then it's going to cause the stitch to, you know, not look how it's supposed to. So just keep your hand here to keep it straight, but don't actually put any pressure on it. Just, you know, just let the machine push it around. Okay, here we go. Foot pedal down and... Okay, you'll see that the needle is going back and forth to right to the left. It's doing it zigzag here. Now I'm just keeping it straight. I'm not actually moving the fabric any. It's guiding it through on its own and it's going off the edge of the fabric on the right, which is what I want. I just want it to grab onto the fabric on the left side and then go off the edge into the machine on the right. Okay, I've got to the end of the fabric. Now, again, you want to go back to your basic stitch so that you can um, knot the stitch. My fabric is hanging off a little bit much and it's going to mess up my regular stitch. So I'm going to lift my pedal here and move my fabric underneath again. And here we go so I can finish it. Regular stitch forward and then my back stitch. Three, four, five. Okay. Now I'm going to pull out again just like before. Now I'm sure YouTube is not going to show this in good enough quality. <laughs> but um, if you can, my finger kind of highlights it. You can see where it's kind of jagged on the edge. That's where the uh, zigzag seam is taking it in. That's exactly what we want. Again, if this isn't good enough quality for you to really understand it, you can um, Google it and get some, you know, better quality videos or maybe some pictures of people, you know, who have done it. I'm going to rip back here and do my snip, snip with my crappy quality scissors. There we go. Make sure I snip off my loose threads up here again. Like I said, I don't want, it, don't, don't want those hanging around in your costume. So snip, snip. I really got to find my good scissors because these are just awful. I was cutting a uh, chicken wire with them, so that pretty much ruined them. Snip. Ugh, it's just terrible. I cannot stand it anymore. <laughs> God, finally. Okay, these are going in the trash, I have to say. <clears throat> okay, so there you go. Again, I'm sure the quality is very crappy when you're watching this, but there's our zigzag seam and um, our nicely finished scrap of cloth. And you can turn it inside out just like you would with a with a piece of clothing, and you've got the nice side seam here and it's finished on the inside so if those judges ask you to lift up your skirt it looks nice and neat on the inside too so um there you go that's really all there is to it um if any of you have any other questions relating to sewing machines just leave a comment or pm me or something and um maybe i can put up another tutorial video about something else you guys might understand